Good morning, friends. Happy May 18th, Monday, May 18th. It's a very gray day here, a little bit rainy, which um, I love days like this. I've always loved days like this. Um, so yay, happy Monday on my uh, on my Canadian boyfriend calendar. It's Victoria Day in Canada, in case you were curious. And so um, if you need something to do today, look up why. So remember last week I told you that uh, unless weird things started happening to me, I was going to run out of stories. Well, not a problem because my life, you know. So uh, yesterday uh, I was painting all the exterior doors in our house. And friends, I want you to look up that word. If you don't know what that means, look it up. I want you to know what it means, exterior doors. And I'm <clears throat> sorry, I just woke up and oh, here's another tip for you kids. So I can save you some aggravation when you grow up. If you're a person who has naturally curly hair, you should probably not cut your hair. You should probably not have short hair. You should probably just grow it out really long so it looks like normal people hair. But if you if you don't, it'll look like this. Okay, sorry. So anyway, uh, so yesterday I was painting the exterior doors in our house and um, <clears throat> I had both of them propped open because I was also painting the doorknobs on one of the doors. And the other door, um, I had to keep open because the cat keeps, now that we put the screens in the doors, her favorite trick is to, she grabs a hold of the door with her paw and pulls it a little bit and then lets go so that it bangs really hard. When the glass is in the door, it's a little too heavy to do that. So she can just do a little light bang, bang, bang. But once we put the screens in, then she can go bang, bang, bang till you let her in. But I was very busy painting and I couldn't keep opening the door. And so I propped both doors. Well as luck would have it. Um, my cat, who is not a hunter really in any way, although all cats are hunters in, in their own because it's just their instincts. So my cat, who has only killed one bird in 14 years, um, thank goodness, because I, I love birds and that's why she has to wear her new collar and she, she can't walk whenever I put it on her. But she does have her new collar, which is good because I've seen all the birds kind of get freaked out whenever she goes near them because they can hear the jingling. But yesterday I heard this very particular noise that she makes when she's playing with her pretend mice um and she picks them up in her mouth and then she has this special meow she does to like let me know like hey look what I did I killed this this mouse that's already dead aren't I amazing and I'm always like oh you're amazing you're amazing um so she gets very happy but um so she was making that same noise outside and I thought oh no because I know that meow it's like when you grow up and you have a baby your baby will have like a special cry when they're hungry they'll have a cry when they're tired they'll have a cry when they just pooped they have these cries and you learn the cries so um that's kind of how it is with my cat she's like my buddy so like I know all of her meows and what they all mean she's got like an I'm starving meow and then 10 minutes later and I'm starving you forgot to feed me even though I fed her it's a fake cry you know because she's hungry and then a couple minutes later another fake meowing oh my god I'm starving to death how come you never ever feed me there's that those meows but then there's the meow of here's something I brought just for you and it's awesome wait till you see it now, like I said, the doors were propped because I was painting and in walks Kate, very proud of herself with a chipmunk in her mouth. And I'm like, oh, this is awful. I feel so bad. Even though I'm not really a big fan of chipmunks, they are kind of cute. And uh, this one is definitely dead. It's like, it's little paws are like this. Like it's sleeping, but it's definitely not sleeping. And I felt really bad and I was like, oh, wow, Kate, wow, that's a chipmunk, great. And so of course, I've got a paintbrush in one hand and a bucket of paint in the other hand and in walks Kate with the chipmunk, very proud of herself and gently sets it down on the floor at my feet and looks up at me like, oh, this is for you, loyal person who loves me more than anything who feeds me. This is a gift to you. And the gift proceeds to come back to life and jump up and run through the house and then turns around and, thank God, runs back out the door with the cat trailing behind it and me screaming and trying not to drop the paint. And I believe I was on the phone with one of you kids at the time. And I'm on the phone with so many of you these days, which I love so much. And I can't remember who I was on the phone with, but I was on the phone with one of you kids and I was screaming and I felt bad. Because I was like, hey, let go of that. Anyway, so that was my day yesterday. Very exciting stuff. So, um, yeah, so today if you're stuck for writing, you could always tell me something your pet does that's funny or annoying or 
you know, deadly or whatever. It'd be great, great story. So um, I guess I will see you guys at 1030 in the meeting. And um, hopefully these things keep happening to me because they give me stuff to talk about in the morning. But love you guys. Have a great, a great rainy Monday. Good day to get caught up on your work. Maybe do a little extra. Okay, happy Monday.